Uh, Tripoli is a place apart from much of what's going on in the east and the west. And as you know, we're here as guests of the Libyan government, which means pretty much that uh, they get to show us what they want to show us and the places they want to show us. Today, we were able to get away with a single miner who said, you can go wherever you want and you can speak with whomever you encounter. We saw this bustling vegetable market and started asking away. How are things in, in uh, Tripoli? How are things in Libya? Everything is all right. Everything is all right? Everything is all right. No problem. It was a response we heard dozens of times today. Very good. Very good. While other parts of Libya may be ready for civil war, that's not what you hear in Tripoli. You want to make change? You want to make a revolution? I'm with you, guys. But the problem, when you start burning your country, you start killing the people. Why is that? Call it groupthink, maybe towing the company line. They do start pretty young here. <laughs> the little girl says, Allah, Gaddafi, Libya, and that's it. No one after Muammar Gaddafi. Tripoli streets were bustling with shoppers and folks going to work, old men gossiping. No tanks, no army, just the status quo. What's that old line about the devil you know? You ask me if this regime is good or not. I mean, if you go all around the world, no one is perfect in this life. No one is perfect. Only God is perfect. So Gaddafi isn't the problem. It's the media's fault. So just to get this story straight, they were saying on Al Jazeera and Al Arabiya mm -hmm. that there was shooting going on in your neighborhood. Yeah. And your friends called you to say, yes, what's, what's going, going on? What's going on? Yeah. And, what, and, and was anything happening? It was nothing. Seriously, it was nothing. Seriously. Perhaps we were hearing the truth today, or at least the truth that people here are most comfortable with, because all they need to do is think back to last Friday, bloody last Friday, to realize how much is at risk. Katie? Harry Smith, Harry, thank you.